Hi there, my name is Katie and I'm with Solowood Flowers. Today we are going to be making a super fun window box planter arrangement. We are going to be using a few different types of filler and then we have our adorable little window box planter. We have quite a few different options on our website for different um, containers that you can use or choose from or you can even do something fun and use an old antique that you have lying around. We have just filled this little container with some floral foam. We have a variety of pink flowers in different sizes and kind of different shades of pink. Some are a little bit darker, some are a little bit lighter, and we have added those to wire stems. We are just trimming those stems down a little bit and we are arranging them throughout the foam. This is more of a wild style arrangement, I would say. We're just kind of going with the flow and kind of just seeing where this takes us. If you need to remove a flower and replace it in, don't worry about it, it happens to us all the time. We are just gonna kind of pick and choose these flowers and layer some up, put some down a little bit, just to kind of get the look we're going for. Now we are going to add a little bit of filler. Here we have some caspia that we're going to be using. Again, we're trimming that down to size and just adding that here in between our flowers. Again, kind of just going with the flow here. We are going for more of a wild, feel to it rather than a super put together you know perfectly arranged closely put together flowers this is more of a fun arrangement we are going to be using a few different types of fillers you can use faux preserved dried fillers whatever you would like whatever fits the look that you're going for um, now we're going to add a little bit of our Japanese boxwood. This boxwood is so beautiful, it has a really vibrant green color and it's really going to pop against these soft pink flowers. We are just kind of evenly dispersing this throughout our arrangement. Um, we just want to make sure that we have little pops of it throughout and it's not, you know, green on one side and no green on the other. Just kind of evenly dispersing it throughout. We also are going to add a little bit of our dried filler here in just a few moments. So that will give us three different types of filler. We have our bunny tails, our Japanese boxwood, as well as some caspia. Mixing up your filler types can really give your arrangement good texture and it just adds a little bit of variety to it. Now that we have all of our flowers and filler added where we want it, our arrangement is complete. This is such an awesome idea for a gift for a loved one or even just to add to your own home decor. Thank you for joining us today and happy crafting! Thank you.